Hi everyone, welcome to Fashion Photo Review. I'm Raven and... I'm Morgan McMarkers. <laughs> and Morgan's gonna be filling in for Raja, obviously. Because we killed her. She's dead at Studio 54. Dead, you know. <laughs> and she'll never let us forget it. And she, but um, she will be gone for, I wanna say the next three weeks. She's gonna be back, she's busy. Deuces. Making the coin because she's a diamond crowned queen. She's a diamond crust, oh shit. She's a diamond crusty queen. Diamond crusted queen, diamond crusty queen. Diamond croissant queen. <laughs> crusty footed queen. <laughs> <laughs> so since Raja's gone, I think we should just read the shit out of her Instagram the entire boot. time. Let's boot everything. Boot. Let's get started. First up we have Raja. And Raja is actually featuring the mermaid before the mermaid became the mermaid and became popular. I think she looks like a poop on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> a big shiny black poop. This is the Raja I remember. Right. When I first started going out and first started going to shows and I was watching Raja, I would this she was always in vinyl and leather <coughs> and latex and spikes. She looks beautiful, even doing it back then. She looks great. I love it. I think Raja's wearing makeup, which is always fun. I wish she would do that some more. That's you always know, a good thing. In these late, later days, because I think she looks sexy as hell. She's always been like borderline of, you know, dominatrix, beauty queen. And she plays with gender. She you plays know. with a lot of gender. She likes the gender. <laughs> she likes to go skiing. Let's <laughs> 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 see how she got out on stage like that, or if she was just doing like burlesque. Is that a boot? It's yeah. a mermaid skirt. Oh. She's a mermaid. She's fishy. Well, that's where she did her show, on the floor. That's why I do mine. She just did it right there. <laughs> just rithered around like a fish. She, they water. dropped her. They dropped her out of a fish net with a bunch of dead fish onto the floor right in front of the stage. But yeah, she did the mermaid thing before a door. Sorry about it. But let's let's talk about her fashion. It fits right. The skirt fits right. The bra looks right. Jewelry looks right. The hair looks right. The face looks right. Raj is always right. So I have to give the whole my, looks right. Her whole, I've not seen it, but I've heard it's right and I've not tight. It. But not we are right. going to give Raja a boot. I'm gonna give her a suit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it a boot. Just because uh, she booted me. Fuck her. She actually said that it was, I think that picture was Fucking ugly is what she said about you. <laughs> I actually tooted. I'm just kidding. It looks great. Now we have a very old picture of Raja. <laughs> <laughs> Next up on our Way Back Wednesday episode, we have Miss Stacy Lane Matthews. To me, it's very pedestrian. I mean, it's not bad. Casual separates from Lerner or Lane Bryant <laughs> are fine. But I Stacey personally. Stacy Lane Bryant. <laughs> Stacy Lane Bryant. <laughs> I can't complain because there are times when I've thought. You know, maybe I can get away with buying something at Windsor or Charlotte Roos and wearing it to go hang out on my patio or my front porch. But I mean, it's not it's not bad. It's just not my favorite. And I just think now she looks so much better. So um, I hate the shorts so much. They're oversized, they're past the knee, they're like culottes. A chunky heel with an ankle strap that, yeah. And diagonal stripes on a thick body. No. Mommy. I like the hair though. I'm not mad at that ponytail. You know, and her pose, it's very sultry, but I so, do not like it. Is it safe to <laughs> I do not like it. You know what, I boot it. Boot. Next up, we have Miss April Carrion in her first time in drag here on Way Back Wednesday. It's better than my first time in drag. It's Shit, better it's, than mine too, bitch. It's kind of better than my drag right now. I think. Maybe she had some like a lot of people helping her. Looking at this, she's got all of the elements of what drag queens do: some vinyl, some animal print, the gloves, the jewelry, rhinestones. The hair, rhinestones, you see rhinestones, fishnet. You know, all thrown together. I'm sure it's very punk rock. Maybe she did something punk rock. It looks like she's on stage, and it looks like she's having a good time. She's having a great fucking time. Drag is about having a good time, so I think that, you know, yeah. Drag is about having a good time and looking over having a good time. <laughs> so she looks beautiful, and I will toot this because all of the elements there, and she looks like, I mean, was she's she, just a cool was bitch. She, was she padding then? I don't give a fuck if you're cool or not. If you don't look right, you don't look right. I'm gonna let you know you don't look right. But she look right. That's nothing to tell you, darling. <laughs> CT? Toot it! Toot it! This is Courtney Act's first time in drag. This is Courtney Act as Serial Mom. I mean, it's not bad. It's horrible. I just, I just. It's fucking hairy bee. I just, I feel like people think I always harp on Courtney and like I hate Courtney. People, I don't should, hate Courtney. people be, are stoned for less. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we're looking at it being as a throwback and she has but come so far. It's a fashion far, show. Now, I'm not saying I'm the fucking Anna Wintour of drag or anything, but Jesus, buggery bollocks. 
Yeah, it's bad. Food. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Boot food. the house. Boot it. Boom. This is India Farah. Is it really? Yes. It looks like Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> <laughs> she looks very young. She's probably like prepubescent. That's why she already, looks so fishy. And she's already dressing up. Look at her now. But still, her makeup in this picture is better than a lot of bitches. Than Courtney Axe in the last picture. <laughs> I give it up to a child getting into drag and feeling fierce in a wife beater with probably rolled up washcloths. Yeah, or bird seed titties. Yeah. Her drag clearly has gotten so much better. Well, yeah, because she started. 800 years ago. Yeah, so it better be good. You see some of those queens are like, I've been doing drag for 16 years and it looks like they just started doing it 16 minutes ago. It's like, bitch, <laughs> where's well, the progression? You know what? Two. Two. Next up, we have our fan submission on this way back Wednesday. I don't know how old this uh, fan's picture is, but we're gonna go ahead and toot and boot a fan this week. Have you ever booted a fan? I don't think I have. I don't think you have either. And it's I just watch hard, it's hard to do that because they're putting themselves out there, but then they get upset when, I, when I'll meet them at the club and they're like, bitch, I, I, I submitted that because I wanted it booted. Like people wanna get booted. <laughs> So we're gonna have to start booting some motherfuckers. Yeah, this is Dora Diamond. She's mm -hmm. 24 years old and she's from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. First of all, I'd like to gush a bit and congratulate you on your many wonderful pro programs. Shout out to WOW Presents. Subscribe. You guys rule. It would be a dream come true to have one of my looks tooted or booted, hopefully tooted on Fashion Photo Review. I am submitting my showgirl look from Pride Fest 2014 here in Milwaukee. Thanks to your, for your consideration and have a fantabulous day. Okay, this is definitely showgirl. Almost saloon. It almost looks like she's got bloomers made out of feathers. I can't tell because- They're called knickers. Knickers, They're off like a pair knickers. of Fleur's knickers. Fleur's knickers. She grabbed a bunch of stuff and made herself a costume and it looks like it's executed well. Pretty well. You can tell in the picture about body action and like movement and she looks like she is just fucking pounding. I think she looks great. I think she looks great too. I would do without the bottom part. I would have made him a little, I, cut him like up a little higher. French cut tea. Yeah. I toot it. I toot you, Miss Dora Diamond. I'm tooting you right now. I'm tooting uh, your teeth. Tooting your teeth. Our, Our top, top toot of the week, week is... Raja. Raja zubi, Gemini. Zubi, zubi. Diamond crown queen. Queen of the Studio 54. Queen of stink. Raja. That should be her perfume. <laughs> Queen of Trend alert. Walmart. Fashion though. Very. A whole outfit for $9.99. Great poly blends. <laughs> Fierce cutoffs. And Go to Target if you're high to Diddy. Let's not even dare talk about Kohl's or TJ Maxx. Or Ross. I love TJ Maxx and, Mar and Marshall, so don't even get it twisted. Look, I love Ross. Ross the boss. You can, you can shop a costume at Ross, mm -hmm. clearly. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is a goodwill. Okay, don't forget, if you want us to tutor boot your photo, send it over to World of Wonder Facebook, hashtag Fashion Photo Review. Don't, don't forget, forget to, to subscribe, subscribe to WOW Presents. Do See it. you next week. Do it though, do it now. If you'd like to join the WOW Presents Network, email us, youtube at worldofwonder.net.